This video will show you in detail the unpacking and installation steps of the vertical takeoff fixed wing inspection drone, as well as the pre flight inspection work. Step 1 Installation This is the main body of the fuselage. We need to connect the carbon tubes and install the wings. The wing has two plugs, one power plug, and one cover plug. Please align the red dot of the cover plug with the red dot. After installation, ensure the tightness of the connection. And verify that the clips have snapped into place. Step 2. Assemble the rotor rods. The rotor rods need to be distinguished between left and right. Please pay attention to the flatter side facing inward. Take this as an example. The flat side faces inward. So it is the right rotor rod. Similarly, the flat side faces the right side. It is the left rotor rod. There are two plugs at the bottom of the rotor rod. One in the front and one in the back, which prevent incorrect connections. Step 3. Install the tail wing. After installation, you need to check the tightness of the buckle. Now the overall assembly is completed. Step 4. Ground Preparation The screws need to be tightened a second time. Please use a small tool to tighten it again. The following four screws need to be tightened in sequence. After tightening, we will proceed with the routine ground inspection. Check that the connecting pins and propellers are properly installed.
Step 5. Battery Installation After the ground inspection confirmed that there were no problems, proceed to install the batteries. Currently, the VTOLUAV uses the 6S batteries in series, forming a 12S configuration. The positive terminal of one battery connects to the negative terminal of the other. In this way, it is converted from 6S to 12S. Step 6. Measuring the aircraft's center of gravity. If the center of gravity of the aircraft is not right, you can adjust it by slightly moving the battery forward or backward. Now the aircraft is level. After confirming that the aircraft is level, we can power on the aircraft. Please connect the black wire first, then the red wire. When the power is off, unplug the red wire first before powering on. The aircraft needs to be stationary to ensure it passes the self-check. Now there is no problem with the main body of the aircraft. Step 8. Connect to the ground station. Using the H-16 Pro as an example, We need to share data from the H16 Pro to the computer. Turn on the H16 Pro Remote Controller's hotspot and connect the computer to this hotspot. The remote controller in the video has been connected to the computer. If they are not connected, Please use the computer Wi-Fi connection function to connect to the hotspot of the remote controller. After connecting, Please open the ground station software. Select TCT connection. Enter the URL 192.168.43.1 Port number 5760 The computer should now successfully receive the aircraft's data. Step 9. Pre-flight inspection. Before taking off, 
we need to check whether the channel output of the remote controller is correct and verify the propeller's rotation direction. Please install the Patar tool before takeoff. Long press the blue flashing light to unlock the safety. Then, select the remote controller mode. Either manual or FBWA. Check whether the remote control corresponds to the aircraft by observing if the control surfaces respond correctly. After confirming that they are correct, check whether the aircraft's feedback is normal. Take the aircraft's nose down as an example. When the aircraft's nose is down, the control surfaces will produce corresponding corrections. The same applies to roll movements. Now, the control surfaces and feedback are correct. Check the direction of the motor. Please confirm the installation order of the propeller first. After confirming that there is no problem, please open the ground station to test the motors. Now give a 10% throttle and test each motor. They should rotate clockwise sequentially. In the video, the motor rotation direction is correct. The airspeed needs to be checked before takeoff. OK, finished. Since the video is taken indoors, there is no GPS positioning. Outdoors, the GPS self-check would pass. Then we need to confirm whether the current heading of the aircraft is normal. You can use the mobile phone compass as a reference. If there is no problem with the ground inspection, we can plan a route for the aircraft. In the example shown, this one has flown before, so it already has a flight path command stored. Of course, users can also plan the route according to their own needs. Thank you for choosing us the VTOL UAV. We have a variety of drones for different field applications. We have provided services to many countries around the world. Looking forward to further cooperation with you.